Alright. Hello and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. There we go. Alright. So, yesterday we actually defeated all of the champion level bosses. So, we actually have all of the trophy items. Um, well. Some of them are a bit mixed up because, well. I've actually equipped people ahead of time. So we can actually head into the Darkest Dungeon now. Um... I don't know what to expect, but I'm going to be cautious, and with the first run, I'm actually going to bring along um, a Vestal and a Cultist to basically have the two chances to heal. Vestal, typical thing here. Um, I figure we're going to encounter a lot of Eldritch, so I feel like that's a good thing to bring with us. Um, I've also given him Eldritch Slaying Incense, so I, I feel like we'll be doing a lot of damage that way. And I give him the Demon's Cauldron because we'll also be doing Weakening Curse to things that we... Well, we're going to see who's going to do a lot of damage before we know. Because this will be the first time we're in there. But we should do a lot of damage to Eldritch, which is going to be very cool. And debuffing anybody we feel like, which is cool. Uh, then we're going to bring along Isaac. Because I feel like Isaac is a, a nice tank. He's actually a very nice tank. Hard-skinned and tufted and precise striker. So what I did with this was I'm usually I stack damage um, but I don't really have a lot of like damage stackers that really like I guess I could bring Eldritch Slayer's ring but like my thinking with this is that he'll have more accuracy and he'll have like plus 10% crit so that 8 crit is is that from I'm not sure it's calculating it quite yet. I think that's from Deadly. So he's going to have like 18 crit, I'm pretty sure. Which I think is going to be more useful to us because we'll, we'll need the stress relief from critting often. And then from... Uh, I, I'm thinking we're bringing bows along with us. Um, okay, we should be alright. But yeah, he's on guard and evasive, which is really nice. Um, so he'll barely be hit the first round, hopefully. But uh, I gave him Ancestor's Musket Ball and Fuseman Matchstick to basically increase crit chance. So I could have gone with uh, what the Gunslinger's buckle that he has, but we may need uh, to rely on some of his melee moves. Even though he only has one melee move, you know, we might need to rely on them. So I, I figured we might not do that and we we will stick with this instead. But yeah, so that's that's the plan. So he's going to point blank shot. Um, he's gonna both be using Stunning Blow and, and whatever else we feel is necessary. Uh, once we perceive a threat, Saltiest Dungeon, I know, we're finally going in. Um, then he'll debuff and basically kill any Eldritch we'll see, and she'll heal. So that's, that's the plan for, for our first foray into the dungeon. Um, we might have some good scouting chance with bows, but I'm not sure, so... This... Is our first foray into the darkest dungeon. Let's go. Whoa! Okay, the darkest dungeon quest is abandoned. Not all heroes are guaranteed to survive. <laughs> Someone must sacrifice themselves to hold off um, fiends during their treat. Okay, I'm gonna do something real quick. Because I didn't think about this earlier. Do, 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 do. Just a quick little thing right here. Um, let me see. Do, 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 do. Just go ahead and delete those. And, okay. Just in case I've, I have an extremely, extremely salty fit of rage and, like, really bad RNG strikes us. I have, in fact, made a backup of our save currently. Um, so hopefully that helps. Because <laughs> that scares the shit out of me. Alright. Just in case, you know, everything goes horribly wrong, I just want to have a backup save. Um, I have no idea what to expect in here either. Like, I don't even know... Are there curios? I have no idea. And what curios, if any, are there? Um, I'm gonna bring an extra four, because I don't know what to expect. 
In fact, because I don't know what to expect, I'm actually going to bring along a whole lot of these. Because uh, I don't want to be caught off guard. Actually, we, we don't... And we are going to be fighting a boss at some point, so it'll bring six. So we're going, we're going full balls to the walls here, because I, I have no idea what we're going to find. Oh, actually, do they have their camping skills? He's got his camping skills, he's got his. He doesn't have his. But his are pretty meh. Like, that's the only good one. And, like, even that's a bit freaky. But as long as she has... I'd rather have Sanctuary Pray and Bless. So let's take care of that first. I don't want to be caught off guard here. Alright, so he's... Bose is the right stuff. You heard no shovels were needed in the darkest dungeon. We'll bring two, then. Instead of four. Oops, I didn't mean that. Uh, let's see here. So, he's... He's fine. He's got all the stuff he needs. Uh, convoy. It's actually... That is a fairly cheap way to prevent nighttime ambush. I'm gonna buy it. Um... That removes mortality debuff, which might be necessary here. Uh, let's see here. Let's also grab skills for Watu. Watu, I guess we've never brought on a uh, a mission before, or at least a uh, a crazy mission. Let's see. So we're gonna get rid of pep talk, encourage. Uh, I don't like chant. I like these instead. And I guess Convoy. We're going to equip Convoy with... Reduce Stress. Prevent Nighttime Ambush. Increase Strength. And... Removing a Mortality Debuff. It's a Dark Ritual and we'd have to use a lot of torches. Really? So there's no such things in Darkest Dungeon. Well, I'm gonna bring normal stuff with us in case we get blight, blighted and bleeded. Bleeded? Bled. Because that, that can be nasty, so. Alright, I wanted to do that. And let's provision. Okay. I'm still gonna buy all the food. Um. I'm trusty on this one. We're not buying shovels. We will buy six of each of these. I'll buy five holy water. And then is there nothing with keys? Just a shit ton of food and bandages? Okay. Alright, shit ton of food and bandages. This will just to get rid of the um, debuffs that we could possibly get. Alright. I'll bring an extra... Four torches, just in case we need to do the dark ritual. Alright, let's see how this works then. Once again, the stars are right. And the manor sits at the very epicenter of cosmic unrest. Cultists rally to their twisted idols. And great gongs sound in anticipation of the coming sacrifices. Far below... Life-laden shadows pulse to the unrelenting rhythm of a beating heart. Oh boy. What? The blood of the fallen flows ever downward along these titan spires. Oh my gosh. The creature fattens itself on your failures. Holy shit, this is this is a hell of a place. Okay, we've got Rapturous Cultists. I don't know what skills they use. Thank goodness for point blank shot being a son of a bitch. Flesh to flesh. Oh, he healed himself, okay. Um he is human unholy. So this isn't gonna do well, it'll do some damage. Not too much. 
confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Okay. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick? Now what's weird is we have to kill one shuffling horror. And oh. cultist priest. Oh shit, I didn't move him back. The finger. He's bled. The blood's six damage per turn, damn. Alright, this thing is an uh, Eldritch. As Holy the shit. Falls, a faint hope blossoms. Bandage! Oh gosh. Those doors, though. So, I guess. I don't know. Okay, then. Flesh wall. So he's guarding him. Ren for the. Oh gosh, they look horrible! <laughs> they look horrible! Um. I could finish him off. Let's finish him off, yeah. Get him out of the way. Maintain the offensive. Um. I want to party heal because I, I I don't know if it's one of those situations where like if things go bad they go bad fast. For the new god, what's this? Oh gosh, he gets more stress. Now, it's unholy. Oh, let's make sure we uh, bandage up. Cool, because it's unholy. I did a little extra damage there. Destroy them. I can't actually hit him, so this is the best I can do. Um, who goes next? I feel like he's fast, but I don't think... I can't kill him, so I might as well do a heal. Nice. That is a nasty claw, too. Holy shit. Cool. Oh, look at these like dudes in the background. Like Atlas or something holding up the this expedition cave or promises success. I don't even know. Alright, so we scout. Let's go this way. It didn't actually show us actual things in the hallway, it just showed us more hallway. That's interesting. Now I'm gonna assume that the boss isn't in this room because it'd seem weird that there'd be two spokes. Oop, gotta raise the torchlight. Oh, it'd be great if we could just get rid of him right off the bat, but hey, we knocked him. Good dodge. Fates reveal. Oh gosh, she turns into a horrible <laughs> tentacle beast! He flesh walled the Priest. Okay. Uh, I'm going to probably Zealous Accusation would do this. Nice. Yeah, probably Abyssal Artillery. Do a little bit more damage to everybody. Death Lash. Oh gosh. Hide all that nasty in that in that cloak, why don't you? Um, let's heal up. Fate's pull. Good dodge. Flesh to flesh. Oh, so he heals. Oh, so flesh to flesh can also heal someone else. The finger. Oh gosh, we gotta heal him. Shit. Uh, let's see here. We can probably kill that guy. That way you can stop healing. Um, I should probably leave my other person to heal, but whatever. Uh, you're Eldritch and Beast. Best I can do right now, probably. That's pretty nice, actually. Twelve. Alright, I'm worried about his stress. Holy shit. 
Uh, let's see here. There's a beast and it's Eldritch. I think we can do this. Nice. Thank goodness Convoy has like an extremely high crit. I wonder how long that's been on the field, because I could probably do it. Actually, I could probably shoot this thing. That works. And power. Another scout. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. I mean, we're okay. I'm gonna say, judging from the amount of torches we're using, we're not close. Because we should probably be down on like four torches before we're actually close to where the ball should be or something like that. It doesn't make sense to be that, like... Like we've used... Like normally on a medium mission you would use like 16 torches. Oh, I actually clicked the torch and went in at the same time. Okay. Again, I'm gonna stick with that whole, like, we haven't used that many torches thus far. So I don't think this is the boss. Okay, three priests. That's kind of nasty. Good. That was a very nice hit, actually. Let's just clear it. Oh gosh, it's a horrible pile. Oof, that dodge hurts. We can't afford stuff like that. Death Lash. What's the debuff there? Oh, increased bleed. That's pretty nasty. Uh, I'm gonna part heal. Ooh, good crit. That was the guy we need to have more heals on anyway. Uh, let's see here. I need a little bit more than nine. Whoa. Okay, well, he's... We're probably going to have to camp in this next room just so we don't go crazy. Um, good. The finger is nasty. Party heal. Get him out of the way. We just have that guy. Ooh, we don't have a way to remove corpses, really. Um, let's debuff his damage. Oh, we have to remember to get rid of his bleed. It's friggin' 12 damage per turn. Okay, good. Alright, that does actually hurt him tremendously. Um... Do a little stress relief there. That's so nasty. Good, heal for 14. Unnerved. Unbalanced. Well, he's insane now. Please, Isaac. Nope, he's abusive. Oh, great. Okay. Well, I can't reach him over there. I mean, I could get rid of these corpses, I guess. They only have seven health. Alright, seven's a nice heal for everybody. I don't want to camp yet. It's 
a very short hallway. Oh, fuck me. Oh, this is, this is bad. Could have probably killed that guy if I had him in the right position. I really wish there was a, um, a key that you could orient, like, save the orientation of the party. Otherwise, this shit keeps happening. It's really not, not cool. Um... Alright, rolled high, which is nice. He guarded. An abyssal artillery. It's a lot of damage across the board. But yeah, it looks like there's no curios. Alright, he healed himself. The finger. Wow, he can hit all the way back there. Damn. Gosh, we need more stress resist. This is getting a little crazy. Um, let's just get rid of that guy. They actually do disappear, that's nice. Um, bandages, heals. Oh, I thought I could kill that guy. There we go. Do a little bit of damage to everybody and kill him. Good gravy. Hey, Carrot. We're in the darkest dungeon right now. It's a little scary. Rolled low on that one. Bleed sucks too. But that actually hit for a, a great amount. There we go. Oh boy. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. General boss layout would say it's not here. It's got. It's probably. Maybe it links up again, like this one. I. It wouldn't make sense for it to, sort of go in a broken chain and go somewhere else. I'm just going off of dungeon logic here. The light, the promise of safety. Uh... Center of what I assume is a square or go along the outside? I guess we have to go along the outside to check. It's very weird because it is only three rooms. Oh gosh. I was going to say how the chances are low, but, well, this happened. And of course I fucking didn't put him in the position I needed him to be. I need to remember to move him or else we're all going to fucking die. Please don't push him. Actually, it doesn't matter completely, but still, pain in the ass. Um, that thing's Eldritch. I'm going to focus on him. He's actually real nasty. My whole party's gonna go insane. Oh, shit. We need some heals there. We need to move you up. Okay, we've at least recovered from that. Please don't. Oh, you fucker. Please pull him. Thank you, at least something's come from that, other than just fucking with me constantly. Holy shit. That's my last bandage, which is not cool at all. Uh, let's see. Oh, 
he rolled low. I really needed that. We're gonna have to camp or else he's gonna start having heart attacks. And I have no bandages. Fucking A. I really needed that to hit. Wow, this is not going well at all. Oh gosh. Why? Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. What our attacks do, it brings them to zero health, is what it does. And he's bleeding. Close in. The shadows whisper of conspiracy. Another life wasted. Nope. Fuck that. Fuck that. All right. Copy. And paste. Okay. Let's try that again, but with less uh, less stress this time. <laughs> oh fucking a! Apparently, you need a lot more bandages. Ruin. All right. I was lord of this so, place. So, welcome back to to Before Darkest Dungeon. It's like I'm starting the episode over again. Domain. Um, let's see here. I had an idea of who I was going to bring in there, but now it's changed completely now that I've actually been inside the Darkest Dungeon. Uh, let's see here. There's nothing wrong with the healer. The healer is fine. Um Yeah, so that that's fairly typical. I'm not going to mess with that really. Alrighty, um, what else? <laughs> nice, nice. Um, this is a weird one, because, like, I think there's four levels of the Darkest Dungeon. I'm pretty sure. So, like... There's like people I really like, but I'm not sure if I should use them right away. And I guess that's that's the main issue I'm having right now is I'm not I'm not sure who I should bring with me. Because I really like my plague doctors, but you can't bring the same people back to the darkest dungeon again. It's a real shame. Um I think Convoy was definitely useful in that mission. So I will bring Convoy again. Um, but gosh, we took so much stress. It was ridiculous. Um, I'm going to take Isaac as a generic tank because I don't want to use up um, either of my lepers. Um, or any of those guys. Maybe I should. Maybe I should, I don't know. It's a tough one, it's a tough one, because when it comes down to it, you have a, a limited amount of people. And if four of them are essentially going to be unused for the next mission, then you have to pick carefully to see, like, who's going to go. I, I think we're going to do it again. And heck, if it fails again, then we know it's this party that's the problem. Friggin' A. Alright, hopefully the RNG will be kinder to us this time. I have 134 hours in Darkest Dungeon. Yeah, that's what um, extra grinding uh, does to you, definitely. There we go. And I think what our healer also has stuff. Blood 
bless and pray. There. Okay, um, why don't we make a save here? So we'll get next to main menu. Just in case this happens a third time. And actually, if this happens a third time, I'm probably going to have to go online and look up, like, friggin' strategies or some shit, because I just don't understand how you can do a dungeon where you get that much stress that quickly. Granted, we had nobody stunning, I guess, which, which is an issue. So perhaps the thing I did wrong that time was I, uh, I didn't have enough, um, board control, really. So I wasn't able to actually stop any of the stressors or kill the stressors in an efficient manner. Um. But then you have to balance the thing of, you know, do you go ahead and say, okay, I'm going to use my best people for the first mission just to see what this is like, and then have, like, people that, you know, maybe aren't well suited. All the decadent horrors I have seen pale in comparison to that final crowning thing. All right, so. I could not look. Nor could I look away. Where's convoy and bows? Really? Nice. Uh, let's see here. Where the hell's bows at? There's bows. Now we have to remember to keep them in the first position, or else, well, bad shit happens. Uh, let's see here. So yeah, they still have this stuff. Okay, cool. So. Uh, Demon's Cauldron, because we need the debuff. And we're also going to use... What was the other thing I gave him? The Elder Killer's Incense, because I feel like that's going to be really nice. Uh, so he'll do extra damage to them. Now, I was thinking, actually, that maybe it would be good for Convoy to have some different skill sets. Because we can at least hit the first two people with Sacrificial Stab, and it does extra damage versus Eldritch. Um... Maybe not focus on healing and focus on um, stunning. Because he'll have, what, 140 stun base if we upgrade this? Okay, yeah, we'll do that. We'll, not, we'll have Convoy not be uh, healing oriented. Let's try that out. Granted, this might be really expensive, actually. I'm not sure if I can do it. Now that I think about it, I don't think I can get away with that. Um, yeah, I'm probably just going to brute force it again. Uh, let's see here. So definitely want extra... Actually, it's really weird. I don't know if I want this sort of stress on people. Now that I'm looking at it, like, all these stuff adds stress to them. It's actually quite nasty. Um... That's probably why they're not we didn't do so well last time. Hmm. That's tough to be like, okay, we won't use the best trinkets, and we'll use, like, some subpar trinkets or whatever. Um. Yeah, I think we're still gonna go with that. Or we could give him the flesh's heart, which would be interesting. Anyway, Bose is definitely going to do the Fuse Moons match. I think we're doing the same shit again, basically. And seeing if RNG is kinder to us this time, because that was... That was obnoxious, if anything. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, so what I do. A lot of these. Uh, we didn't need any of those. We didn't need Anti-Venom at all. We need to buy all the bandages. And... I think we were decent on torches. I will buy five holy water just in case, like, I have an idea of where the boss is. I'll try and, uh, get stuff before then. Oh yeah, I forgot we had medicinal herbs last time. Let's really stock up on medicinal herbs, because the debuffs can be quite nasty. Alright. Once again, the stars are Attempt right, number two. And the manor sits at the very epicenter of cosmic unrest. Cultists rally to their twisted idols, and great gongs sound in anticipation of the coming sacrifices. Far below, life-laden shadows pulse 
to the unrelenting rhythm of a beating heart. Okay. This is the longest hallway, actually, which the is a little of funny. The fallen flows ever downward along these titan spires. The creature fattens itself on your failures. On a scale of 1 to 10, how's Darkest Dungeon? Um... Like, for me, personally, it's like... It's so weird. I would call it, like, a 9.9. .9, and that point one is the fact that there's not a difficulty slider. Because there's some, like, me, personally, I want to enjoy myself after a long day of work, and I don't want to get fucking owned by Eldritch Horrors at the end of the day. I want to, you know, adventure. This isn't an adventure game. I'll just be straight with you. This is not an adventure game whatsoever. This is a slow descent into madness. Well, this dungeon is the darkest dungeon, so you probably do lose more torchlight now that you mention it. I didn't really think about that before, but that's probably a thing. Alright, move your dude. Gotta remember to do that, or else it's gonna be an issue. I wonder if these guys are, um... They're like, um... Okay, that's... <laughs> much better starter. <clears throat> but yeah, basically, this is the final dungeon. But yeah, in my opinion, this game is fantastic. There's just certain aspects that, like, I feel were changed a lot uh, when they made it full release, and that... They should probably either make like an easier version or something like that, or add like a difficulty slider and options. But yeah. <laughs> well, here's the here's the thing, uh, Carrot. I I literally am probably gonna only play this game for like another week. Like, if I can finish this game within the week, I'd like to, and then move on because we played this game for a long time, and a lot of it was because of grinding, which got incessantly, uh, like more of an issue as time progressed. Uh, let's do a little extra damage to him. You're done. Yeah, so I'm not gonna make a command for like one episode. <laughs> However, you know, players that would be. Uh, let's see, you're... So they're all human, none of them are eldritch. Uh, I will debuff you, so you don't do it on yeah, F5's still a thing. I think we're just gonna have to live with the heals, because we, we... I don't know, maybe we don't have to. It's, it's a weird thing, isn't it? Let's do a little extra damage to him. Really? You couldn't just, like, get a little more out of that. Oh great, he's gonna use point blank shot and friggin... Maybe I need a pull. Maybe that's what I need. I think I can easily switch out some skills if necessary. Like, basically it's gonna leave a corpse behind, so it's better if I attack something else. Okay, not with 12 damage per turn. We're definitely not gonna go through that. Confidence surges as the enemy yeah, that gets rid of the guy completely. I'm starting to think we'll switch tactics with our um our occultist a tiny bit. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Debuff. That way he doesn't do as much damage. Still bled. That's party heal. Good, that was a very high party heal. Yeah, sure. Awesome. K 
Okay. We're gonna switch around his skills. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Yeah, we're gonna put Demon's Pull in there, because I, I'm pretty sure that would help us out a couple of times. Especially if we're going to anticipate uh, using a couple of those things. Alright. Yeah, you use like two torches per hallway. You need to like buy a lot of them. Oh boy. <clears throat> I needed a little bit more than that. I'm gonna pull her forward. Well struck. Nice. I'm not sure if that does anything, like there's only a certain amount of moves she can use or something like that. Maybe. The finger. Fate. Why? Why is it always him? Heal. Yeah, we just need to kill her off. We could, we could do this, maybe. Nope, you rolled low. Let's see, Abyssal Artillery. He's an Eldritch Beast. Whip him a bit. Does some decent damage. Good resists. I think we're actually going to have to focus on doing some um, stress relief here with Inspiring Cry, because that's that's getting quite nasty. Get him out of the way. Because I don't think he actually does any damaging moves. Okay, he healed himself, so he's that guy's no longer guarded. Lol. Stress heal. May we find <laughs> I know that dude is really jamming out, you're right. Oh, damn it, he did a flesh wall. Son of a bitch. There we go. No more flesh wall for you. Really a dodge? That is not what I needed right now. Good dodges, though. Ooh, sevens. More stress relief. There we go. Okay, this is this is doing this is going way better than it was last time. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Oh, switch him. I was hoping for more crits, because I mean this guy. His damage is actually way higher, it's just not showing it, because he should be doing 25% more damage and have 8% more crit when it comes to uh, range damage. I think his crit should be a lot more, but it's not showing it. His crit's even higher with Eldritch, like, there's, there's some crazy synergy going on there. Always start to get smaller. And then you fight one of these fuckers. I need you to roll high on this one. That's not high enough. Oh, that was so close. 
Gosh, 14. Party heal. Cells accusation. <laughs> no way, Bakura. <laughs> well, that's gotta be weird. Uh, let's see here. Nice! A crit for 23. That's a very odd number, actually. But well, it's an, an odd number. As opposed to being in an odd number as well. I'm gonna go take him out. Okay, you need a bandage and you need to heal yourself for a lot. 15 is, is decent. I'm gonna stun you if at all possible. Good! Just in case, I'm going to set it up for a point-blank shot. Um, I want to eke out a little more of a heal here, so I am going to debuff him. Let's do some stress relief. And a party heal. And a high party heal at that. Alright. I thought I would go first, but okay. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you don't get any treasure or anything in the uh, darkest dungeon. Push on to the task's end. I'm gonna go up this time. Doesn't seem to make any difference, really. The way is lit. The path is clear. You require only Except for when you have this shit going on. <laughs> this uh, survival is the treasure of this place. You're absolutely right. Really? I want you to, like, really fucking knock his block off. Do you understand what I'm saying here? Okay, 26. Nice. We already had a salty rage quit. And luckily I, uh, I saved before all the shenanigans started happening. But yeah, we, we already had a, a salty rage quit and, and had to restart because our we got someone dead, basically. He's gonna go insane. I know that. Death waits. For, For some reason, Isaac is just like, the dude is just gonna go insane. Unless he has a positive resolve check, which I was not thinking could happen. But hey, that helps. Yeah, holy shit, right? Uh, let's see here. We gotta get rid of these bitches. It's a Grape Shot Blast can do 5 to 9, that is not enough. I needed to get one more damage, and you couldn't do that for me, could you? Debuff him. Okay, that's that's better. Please don't. Shit. Oh, you motherfucker, really. Holy shit! Pummeling. Critting twice is nice. Double debuff. Exposed Crit for seven, blow. dear god! Gosh, we're gonna run out of bandages, shit. Precision and power. That helps. Crit heal. 
Hey, there we go. Yeah, I didn't see that coming either, because you're a friggin' highwayman. Ghoulish hearts. Normally that shit does not happen. Low and driven into the mud. Oh boy. At least he's vigorous. That's helpful, right? Right? Fucking I don't know, man. <laughs> This place is, is a whole nother kind of dungeon I was not ready for. The light. The promise of safety. Oh yeah, we have fucking food. What am I doing? There we go. Friggin' feast, my friends. I brought ample amounts of food. So we're exploring around the circle and then it, or around the square, and if it doesn't work, then maybe the boss is in the middle. But I literally have no idea. Like, he could be right here for all we know. Okay, good, he wasn't. But there's a malignant growth, which is kind of nasty. Hey, we, at least we hit high on that thing. That thing just does not look good at all. Um... Since this thing is Eldritch, I am going to try to go for it. He does extra damage to it. The finger's such a nasty attack. Oh great, flesh wall the whatever the hell that nasty thing is. Thanks a lot. Oh, of course you fucking did. Please, like, I don't know. It actually does, I don't care at this point. I know that guy, he's, he's having a great time. Wow, he actually heals himself. Holy shit, that's awesome. That would hit the guy in the back. It'd be better if I did this, probably. Maul the flesh. Well, that looks bad. Nobody really needs a heal, I'm gonna go for a kill here. Unless, of course, you miss completely, because you just fucking are awful. Um. This is a weird one. I guess we go for the kill. Nice, that crit him in the back. That's awesome. Let's try to... Let's do damage to her. Nice, 22. We can point blank shot and then we can focus on killing her for the rest of the time. Days the mine. Well, all right then. The most awkward party setup ever. <laughs> They're just pushing her around all the time. Damn. The power of the light flows through me. I don't think you can hit anybody. I'm pretty sure. But. I can set up my highwayman for a point blank shot, which is awesome. Or she goes first. Holy shit. Not cool, man. Not cool. Remind yourself that overconfidence. That's a longer is hallway. Insidious killer. We're in a camp here. We're in a camp here. A spark without kindling. It's a goal without hope. I like how she, like you know that's just how it happens, right? Someone always goes fucking crazy, don't they? Uh, let's see. I probably want to do unspeakable commune because you save one camp and the stress increase isn't that much.
So we have nine points left. Oh, that also removes mortality debuffs. That's cool. Minus 15 stress for four combats is awesome. We're definitely going to clean guns. I'm not sure if we need that. Dark strength. Increase stress by 15. One companion increases damage for 20%. We definitely want to use that. Let's really pound on, on bows right here. Okay. Awesome. Then we have three left. And we can bless. Accuracy and dodge. Or stress relief. I'm gonna give accuracy and dodge to Isaac. Is going crazy permanent? No, no, you can take care of it. It's just um, abusive and vigorous are going to stay for, um, like, for the, the mission. You can go back to town and basically remove it. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. Okay, so hopefully that should help out a bit. Is made clear. He's got more damage. In general, he has a lot of damage and he has more uh, accuracy and dodge. March, friends! He's vigorous, so he's all about this. What the fuck is with the RNG here? Seriously? Fucking seriously. Gonna debuff him. The ground quakes. Twenty to forty. Fifty nine crit. Um, I'm actually do, gonna do inspired cry because literally you're going to die uh, and have a heart attack if this doesn't work. Strike. Why? She's gonna have a heart attack now. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. Alright, stun. Killer looking. Friggin' executed. 17. Okay, that's a problem. Success so clearly in view. Okay. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Okay, you need to eat all of this food. Okay, that's as much as you're gonna eat. Holy water, holy water, holy water, holy water. Of course, this might not be him at all, but I'm assuming a long hallway after such bullshit. You, it's just the layout makes sense. What more can you say? The match is struck. Oh, gotta move A him. A blazing star is born. All right, let's do this. I'm so scared. She's friggin' gonna go nuts. Okay, it is the shuffling horror. It's kind of like the shambler, except um, with like more grotesque things growing off of it. Like that little knackly jaw. Okay then. 19. I was expecting a little more damage coming from you. His stun resist is quite high. I probably will not fucks with that. However, he did bro. just crit for 22. That's nice. I'm gonna pull him forward if I can. Ooh, he resisted. Grievous injury. How 
palpable fear. Lacerate. Okay, so he's basically like the other, um, the other one, basically. All right, good to know. We need to heal desperately. Oh, he shuffles just like the other Shambler. I want to try to kill that guy, because I don't want to have to worry about that shit at all. We gotta move him forward or else he's useless. I really need you to actually fucking hit somebody. Or else this isn't gonna work. Good resists. I'm gonna party heal. Fucking awkward. Okay, we'll focus the heal on him next time, although we can't because my healer's in the wrong position. I feel like he's just gonna undulate all the time. Um, I what the fuck are you doing, honestly? Okay, it's a little bit better. I can deal with this. I could probably kill him with Weakening Curse. Nice. That helps out. How much forward? Just one? That's fine. Nice. Alright, now the, the issue is basically being switched around a whole bunch of times. And we don't have to worry about that other guy in the back. Echoing disability. Defensive growth. Oh, great. So, basically killing that guy did nothing but actually summon something else. Because this is a much better position. We definitely need to heal bows. Yeah, let's see a 64 crit again. That'd be nice, right? Wouldn't that be wonderful? Uh, let's see here. His damage isn't that crazy. I'm gonna go for this. Grand Guard. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. We have to kill this thing before we kill him. Oh my shit. Oh my shit. It guarded him. Okay, well, point blank shot, and we'll hopefully get rid of that shit. Holy crap, that's not cool, man. And he's probably gonna do undulations and then. or echoing Mortality clarified in a Oh gosh, he's gonna go crazy. Our torchlight's low. She just had a heart attack for some reason. Why'd she just have a heart attack? What's that about? Your stress isn't. What? confused as to how you just got a heart attack again. Did it- did your stuff reset? I, I don't know. Accuracy crit, ew. Wow, this is awful. Like, what's the point of me moving at all, really? Other than not having him go crazy, like, I- I don't understand. Um... Okay, so she loses a bit of stress when she does that. Now Convoy is also crazy. 
Wow, okay, this this fight sucks. Especially that thing. I should have kept that other guy alive. Hell, at least he's not guarded. Fucking A. There we go. Friggin' help you out a little bit, jeez. But wait, what's the point? Because he's gonna... What the hell's... What the hell is this battle? <laughs> I... I guess the best I can fucking do at the time being. What the fuck is this? I mean... We could live through this, maybe, but that's really determined on, like, what this guy does, and he either does one bullshit move or another bullshit move. So he's gonna summon that shit again. Oh, he summons that guy. Oh, so he has a bunch of different things he can do. I did not realize that. It could be a DPS race, you're right. Fuck you and your darkness, asshole. He refused healing. Undulations. Okay, so we're gonna focus on him. I guess leave the priest to do what he can, because that other horrible thing was nasty. From becoming unwound. He's he has a heart attack. I need you to hit for more than that. Please don't. A dizzying blow to body oh and my brain. God. As life oh ebbs, my shit. terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. Hey, it's our original orientation. How about that? We really gotta heal you. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do, but okay, you're gonna be that insane asshole, aren't you? At least it saved us from a bit of death, maybe. Well, this certainly is the darkest dungeon. I mean, there's there's no doubt about that now. You have like three people on death's door, like constantly having heart attacks. This is this is one hell of a fucking thing. All right, can you let me actually do something? Thank you. you need to hit for more than that. That is pathetic. Oh my god, really? I'll move... Move forward! He can't move forward because she won't let him go by. He needs more help than anybody, really. This is fucking crazy. Not what I wanted to do, but hey, all right, one more, one more draft the board, I guess. More people having heart attacks is what's gonna happen. At least, no, he's gonna have a heart attack. Approaches. Oh my gosh! He refused healing. Please don't. Good dodge. Really bad setup though, holy shit. We just need to go balls to the walls here. 
If you could just shut up for two seconds and kill this motherfucker, that'd be great. You refuse healing again! You're the one who heals. You get the priority. She needed it, apparently. I guess everybody's gonna have a fucking heart attack now. Survival is a One guy having a heart attack, having a chain heart attack, she's gonna have a heart attack. Is he gonna have a heart attack now? He died. No, fuck that. I'm sorry, but fuck that. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Um, man, I love Darkest Dungeon, but I hate Darkest Dungeon. You know what I mean? Like, it's a great game, but boy, does it love to fuck you over. Um, granted, a lot of that comes from uh, not knowing the, you know, tactics, but shit, man, I want to enjoy the game, not get fucked by it. There's a lot of eldritch fucking in this game, so yeah, that's a problem. Um, I don't feel like playing it again. Like honestly, I'm not gonna at least for tonight. Um, yeah, I probably won't even post this episode. Actually, I'll probably just delete it. Um, that's some shit. Yeah, I'm probably just going to give up. I mean, we've, we've had to mod Darkest Dungeon so much just to have quote-unquote fun with it. Um, and by fun, I mean not getting, like, killed continuously and, like, actually, like, having an adventure rather than having a, like, purely terrible dungeon crawl. Um, what's this? Oh, Steam up there. Uh, but yeah, so... I guess this is the last episode of Darkest Dungeon. Um... Because, like, I'm not going to take more time to try to make the game easier. Uh, because it's just a pain in my ass. I would have to go through and have to, like, debuff, like, enemies and stuff like that. And, like, make their damage values go down or some shit. Like, yeah, screw it. Um, I don't know. If you haven't seen the Darkest Dungeon bosses, I suggest you watch someone, I guess. Like, fuck, I, I don't know, man. Um, but yeah, I, I'm going to stop playing Darkest Dungeon because it's, it's not enjoyable anymore. It just isn't. I, uh, the games beat me, um, I guess. So, yeah, that sucks. Um, 